Hey, what's up, guys? I'm um, back here with another quick rant. Just want to talk a little bit about uh, a guy named Wes Watson and a guy named Andrew Wilson. Uh, Wes Watson is an inf- a fitness influencer, uh, coaching guy, and then Wes or Andrew Wilson, I'm pretty sure, is a debater guy who runs a channel called The Crucible. And they got into a little spiff recently in the news, and I just wanted to weigh in a little bit. But before that, uh, if you're new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, please leave me most importantly, feedback down below what you'd like to hear me talk about or feedback on what I can improve on to make this more of an engaging channel for you. I make this channel because I want to serve the viewer and I want to give uh, meaningful commentary and etc. So again, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching and let's just hop right into it. Essentially, you have a guy, Wes Watson, again, to reiterate, Wes Watson and the Crucible on a Fresh and Fit podcast or uh, stage and they're having a debate about defining success and Wes gives his spiel his side they ask him first and he says it's it's along the lines of um being jacked being rare being rich being essentially being number one in everything like uh, I can I feel he was being a little bit hyperbolic in his definition a little bit what he was trying to say I feel is that you need to be successful you need to when you put effort into something that you need to be really good at it and that's what success is and he's essentially saying like by rank being a high rank in things that's a, probably a good way to break it down from what I saw. Then when you go over to Andrew Wilson, I hope I'm getting his name right. When you go over to Andrew, um, he has he has a more Christian ethical system or more of a um, spiritual a spiritual uh, success system. So he he um, family benefiting society, contributing to society, you know, being a good person, stuff like that, and. This seems to irk Wes a little bit. So he goes after him and says stuff like, you know, don't tell me how to date when your girlfriend's a two. Do you have any money? Look at this guy. He's got tits, whatever, all that other stuff. Starts slinging stuff. He essentially makes a bunch of arguments that, like, if you don't have shit, you can't say shit. You can't give him advice. on. so if you don't have money, you can't give him advice on how to make money. And this is a very similar debate style to, like, other topics that, um, it doesn't really get anywhere productive. I don't think it's really productive. And, you know, he does bullying. He does a lot of ostracize. He attempts to ostracize Wilson by, like, trying to bring the crowd into the argument and trying to, you know, uh, bully him to make him feel, like, push him to be outcast, socially exile, socially murder him, essentially. So it's, like, a, to me, like, a new form of um, murder, social suicide, like, social murder by ostracization um, is the legal version of killing A man, essentially. Um, Or anyone, actually. Sorry. So then it goes over to Andrew, and he starts barking back and starts, like, making fun of him for being a prisoner. And he starts making fun of him for being roided out and a bunch of other stuff. And then, you know, it just devolves into – I didn't even get through the whole thing because it was, like, 16 minutes. Like, halfway through, it started uh, just really getting into a big – it just – it just – wasn't going anywhere productive, so I just I, I I got what I think I needed to see and what what I or what I needed I saw what I needed to see to talk about the issue with this type of exchange and the fact that it's going viral and why I think that's a little bit problematic. So it's just it's quick. So I mean, like everybody seems to be taking the side of Andrew Wilson here and saying that the other guy is an, an insecure alpha male andrew tate wannabe blah 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 there's a there's a bunch of different takes essentially but it's overwhelmingly positive for andrew and they say that he does a good job holding his ground um sure the issue here though isn't that like who's the better crap you know shit talker uh the issue here is that um for me personally is that andrew uh touts to be a christian and you know maybe there's, I'm, I'm always be open to being wrong about this and stuff, but my interpretation from this entire exchange is that Andrew Wilson was uh, making Christians look bad because it's in the Christian doctrine that you like when you're slapped on one cheek to look the other way, to love your enemy, and to not to rise above this type of stuff. When people do like bad things to you, you're supposed to respond to them in love and kindness. And Jesus never once, the person that he's claiming to follow, never once did the things that he did in the debate. So in a way, he's like a, a Christian. But he's slinging worldly. He's 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 doing battle in a worldly way, and he's not really like he yes, he he started off. Um, I'm not trying to really drag him or anything like that. I'm not saying like he's a bad person or anything like that. And it is cool that he's a Christian or whatever, and 
whatever. I mean, but what I'm saying is that it's it's a little bit bad for the Christian camp to devolve to that type of like name calling and stuff like that, especially optically on a main stage like that. Just to protect, I mean, it comes off kind of as like prideful to me that you're just trying to protect your image and to make him look bad. Because let me let me turn it a little bit to like the other side of it and humanize Wes Watson a little bit. Like the guy, he went to prison and, you know, he's very fit, but he's like stacked on gear, which I'm not saying gear is inherently bad, but he's very obsessed with image. So that usually indicates that, or from what I know, from what I've heard and people I've met, you know, watching a lot of the internet stuff is that they're extremely insecure and that's why people know to poke fun at it and it triggers him and gets him really angry. But like in front of that facade, he's, he's just a, you know, a broken man somewhere. I'm not trying to like humiliate him or anything like that or point like uh, make him look bad by pointing out weaknesses to poke fun and prod at him. I'm just saying like, I feel as Christians, we need to take that into consideration or just as people in general, I'm not even saying just Christians, just as like, um, like a morally right thing to do is to, to like take that into account. Even if it's somebody that you hate that you still need to treat them. That's why it's the golden rule. Treat them as if you're yourself. So like if you were Wes, not, if you were in Wes's situation, if you were him and you, this was happening to you and you were getting embarrassed on the stage too, and you were, you were afraid that every, you know, your entire image is like predicated on your, your, your bulldog ish ethics and your entire, you know, reputations on the line or whatever, you know, I mean, I could kind of, I could putting myself in his shoes, putting myself in him. I can see why he is the way he is. I don't know specifically because obviously I'd need to sit down and talk with him and walk through his entire life to really get an answer there. But I'm just saying, like, you're doing, you're doing, just essentially this, this was just doing more, this wasn't productive in any way whatsoever. And us to be ranking who did better in this, like, crap fest is just, a, it's just bad for the culture. It's bad for humanity in general. It's just not a good look. Like, Personally, I think these two should like hash it out and just try to reconcile and apologize to each other. And, and okay, I'm not going to weigh in and say like should have what a you know who should be doing what or anything like that. I'm just saying I'm just pointing out like issues that I think I guess should be talked about or thought about. I guess if anybody sees this, I'll link down like a, a video from the exchange and from a channel that reacted to it or whatever, so that you can kind of make your own decisions or whatever. But it's just those are some of my thoughts about it, and I don't want to. I was trying to. I got some feedback from a couple of people that I need to try to just move the points along and just finish it up. So I'm at eight minutes. I think I've talked about enough. And if you like this again, please subscribe, leave me some comments and feedback or, or uh, some things that you think I should talk about in the future. Uh, this is, you know, I just think this was kind of an important thing to talk about daily content coming. Thank you again for watching and have a uh, great day.